Hey guys, in my previous video on why Hitler declared war on the USA, some people said that quoting Pat Buchanan is a poor choice. He is a racist, anti-Semitic nut, and Pat Buchanan is not a good source as he is a right-wing propagandist and was no doubt pushing some political points in his book. And I have to stop here and say that Pat Buchanan is not a trustworthy source for any views about FDR or anything in general connected to politics. Tick, being a British person, may not have all the facts. Pat Buchanan is well known in the US for being a right-wing crackpot. And so on. Okay guys, I understand who Pat Buchanan is. That's why I used him. If I want to know what modern people who are sympathetic to Hitler's perspective think, then I need to use sources from those people. That's why I use Buchanan, Irving, and Hitler. I want to know what their perspective is on what happened, not somebody else's. If I'm trying to answer the question, why did Hitler declare war on the USA, then why would I not see what Hitler himself, and people who are sympathetic to Hitler's view, have to say? You might think, well, I shouldn't use them because they're anti-Semites. Okay, that's, that's precisely why I should be using them. To understand the biggest anti-Semite in history, I should use the works of anti-Semites. If the rule was, okay guys, we can only use authors that confirm our own biases and are socially approved, then we're going to have a bad time. That's why a lot of people are going wrong, and why historians are coming to silly conclusions. They're not taking seriously perspectives that they don't agree with, and are just dismissing them as insane. Well, if you do that, you're not going to understand what happens in history. And you're going to jump to ridiculous assumptions, because you fail to keep your emotions in check while you objectively look at the sources. Just because I quote from Pat Buchanan doesn't mean I agree with everything that he says. I might agree that a German bomber can't reach the USA. I might agree that Roosevelt got re-elected and started moving the USA to war with Germany from 1940 onwards. But that doesn't mean right, that I agree with everything else he's ever said. I'm not an anti-Semite, and I'm, I don't believe in human subspecies, and just because I read a Nazi source doesn't mean that I'm a Nazi. If anything, the more I read from the Nazi perspective, the more I'm convinced that their perspective is flawed. But at the same time, I can see their points of view on things, and thus can tailor my arguments to preemptively counter theirs. The bottom line is that, as historians, we need to be using multiple sources, from different perspectives, to get all the information and interpretations we can in order to form our own all-rounded view of what happened in the past. If we don't do that, we're going to come to the wrong conclusions. So, use multiple sources from different perspectives, and don't be concerned when I quote from a person you don't like. Seeing something from another person's perspective is not the same as holding that view. And if you think that is the case, if you think that understanding Hitler's point of view makes you Hitler, I would seriously consider checking yourself into a mental asylum. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.